Welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, we're going to unbox six adorably purple blind boxes. I did one of these before where we unbox some pink blind boxes and today is purple. And I have a few more of these monochromatic adorable videos planned. So if you like them, be sure to subscribe to the channel. In today's video, we have Cyberpunk Laura by the brand Toy City and the artist Laura Arts. Next, we have Zoe Fruit Planet, and this is by Popmart and the artist Fairy Zoe. And our third box is Zuton Dreamy Stage by the brand Finding Unicorn and the artist Malenta. And let's go ahead and start by having a look at our Laura Cyberpunk one. This series is really cool. I have opened it up before and got a few of these. I think for today's video, I'm hoping for our secret edition. And I really like this pink one here. I think that one would be fun. The teal one is pretty cool too. Oh, and maybe this other pinky blue one. There's a few in this series that I'm pretty excited for. So let's see who our first box is. I've never gotten a Laura secret edition before. So I think it would be a fun if we got this secret edition. Oh, I ripped that bag really badly. All right, let's see who it is. One, two, three. Oh, we got the one that has the Nintendo Switch on it. It doesn't say it's a Nintendo Switch, but it definitely is a Nintendo Switch. And for this series, it always comes with a stand for your Laura. And here is the card. This one is called Handheld Girl. What is your favorite handheld console that you've owned? I think my favorite handheld gaming console was the Game Boy. I've actually never owned a Nintendo Switch, but I keep bugging my partner that we really need to get a Nintendo Switch so I can play games. There's a lot of good Nintendo games available, so I think it would be really fun to pick up a Switch. But this figure is really cute. We have a lot of details on the actual handheld. And I like the outfit. I think the outfit is really cute. There's a lot of colors happening, but I think they go really well together. I think this is a really cute figure. Not so many details in the back, but for figures, you only really see them from the front, so I don't mind that. Let's go ahead and have a look at our Zoe Fruit Planet box next. I love the packaging for this one. Super cute. And for this series, we have 12 options and one secret. I think it'd be fun to get the secret for this series as well, but I'm mostly just going for Peach Mercury. I really, really want that one. I think that's the only one I'm super excited about. I have opened up these before and I have a few that I like. I'm not so much into this yellowy green top row. So, Hopefully we get one that is like blue or pink or purpley. Oh, this one's really cute too here. I think those are the two that I'm really hoping to get. So let's see who is in our first one. And this box is pretty heavy. These come with a stand as well. Ooh, this one feels really big. I think the peach one was pretty big compared to the others because it had big hair. So let's see who I got. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I got it. I thought I had a good chance because this one was really big in the bag. And our peach mercury one has really big hair compared to some of them. Oh, I'm so lucky to have gotten this. And like our Laura series, we do have stands for these ones as well. These ones are supposed to be the planet. And here is the really cute card for Peach Mercury. I really love the design for this series. I think it's so nice. I'm not sure what about the base makes this Mercury, but I think this is really cute with the blue planet and our super pinky peachy fairy zoe. And I'm not sure why this one has so many dots in the hair. It doesn't really go with peach, but it's an interesting choice. Maybe they thought this figure looked a little boring without those dots everywhere. And I really like this spacesuit. It's really adorable. I think that really makes the figure. 
And it's not overly peachy in my opinion. We do kind of have a peach butt for the hat. I think this figure probably could have went with a bit better for the shading or the gradient that a lot of figures do for peach. It's kind of a bit pink for a peach figure. It's more of like a princess peach figure. But it's just so cute. I really love the face of Fairy Zo, and I love this like massive giant hair. Yeah, I'm really excited. This was definitely my favorite from this series, so I'm so glad I got it. I actually had these blind boxes for a really long time, and I kept on debating whether I should just buy this one. But I told myself not to buy any figures from this series that are opened until I knew what was in my two blinds. And let's go ahead and look at our Zuton Dreamy stage. This is another packaging that is super cute. And I've opened this up a few times on my channel. I'm really hoping for our Naughty Kitty. And I'm really hoping for Nightmare. And I really like this pig one here. I think that would be really fun. I've already gotten this one before and this, this one. So as long as we don't get a repeat, that would be fun. All right, let's see who I've got for this one. And one, two, three. Oh, this one is so cute. Oh, it's like a little maid. And it looks like this one comes with a stand as well and a little kind of love lantern. And here is our card. It is called Look for Dream. And the card almost looks like a ticket. What do you think about this one? Are you a fan? I'm a really big fan. I love the metallic purple hair. And we have little ghost faces on the back of the hair. That's such a cute detail. The theme for this series is so cute. I love how it's kind of like spooky and dreamy at the same time. And this maid outfit is incredible. Probably my favorite thing about the figure. It definitely has like a gothic Kalita, pastel gothic kind of vibe. And the accessories really make it. I love all the little details going on in this figure. Like the shoes and the bow and our cute little lantern that ties in with the theme so well. The metallic sheen on the hair is probably my favorite thing about this figure. Overall, it's just so adorable. I know in my comments a lot of you have really been liking this series, so I hope you're excited to see more. And we've officially done one of each, and our Zoltan looks so small compared to the other two. Although to be fair, these ones have much higher stands. It's funny that all of these series have stands. Stands aren't that common when it comes to blind boxes, but let's go ahead and grab our second one. And hopefully I get a super cute one with this. I do like our first one, but it wasn't one of the one that I really wanted. So hopefully I have better luck. All right, one, two, three. Oh, no, it didn't get any luck. I actually got one of the ones from the top row I wasn't a big fan of. And here is the card for a mechanical girl. I don't have very good luck when it comes to getting blinds of Laura's series. I always seem to get the ones I dislike. I can't say I'm a fan of this color combo of orange and green together. Although I do really like the mechanical mask. And the hair color is really fun. We have a ginger. And I've actually had my hair this same color of electric orange with yellow streaks in it. I did it years ago. I had like zigzag yellow stripes in my hair. The outfit is really cool too. I just wish this was in different colors. Orange could have looked so good. But let me know down below. Are you a fan of this color combination? All right, let's go ahead and have a look at our second Zoe Fruit Planet. And let's see what color we get for this one. Oh, we got a kind of a spoiler. We had the stand at the top and it was orange. So maybe we're gonna have one that is more of the yellow orange color. One, two, three. Oh wow, look at this one. This one has a lot of color blocking. That's really interesting. 
I don't even think I know what fruit this could possibly be. And here's a look at this stand. And the card says we have Apple's Sun, and I think Apple definitely fits with that color of red. It makes sense to me. I really like the color blocking for this one. I think the color blocking all over looks really good. It's a really interesting choice for Apple to go with this navy color and white, but the red I think is spot on for a red apple. And I think it does look pretty sunny. We can have a look at the head, and the head definitely has an apple top in clear vinyl. I think that actually looks really cool. It goes so well with the space theme. And we have really interesting earrings as well on our character. This one is just really interesting and fun. I like all the elements for this one. This one looks very spaceman slash alien-esque. Yeah, there's just something about our Apple Sun that I really enjoy. This one is super fun. And I don't think having a look on this side, I would have picked this one out. So I'm pretty excited I got it. I think it's really interesting. So the boxes might be purple, but definitely the figures we've gotten so far haven't been that purple. But let's go ahead and open up our second bag of Dreamy Stage. And isn't the bag for Dreamy Stage super cute? I think it's so adorable. But let's see who we have inside. One, two, three. Oh, look at this one. We got the cute bear metallic one. So our first Sultan was Look for a Dream, and now we have Make a Dream. The illustrations are adorable. I would totally buy stationery of this character. And what do you think about this one? I really like the metallic again. I like how this series has so much metallic paint. And we have this same braided hair in the back. I'm a big fan of the pink hair and the metallic finish. And for this one, we had a star wand as our accessory. The figure is just really adorable. And I like how it's a bear too. I think that's a nice touch just to add something a bit more interesting. And there's so many cute details on the dress when you have a closer look. Lots of star details. This one is really fun. If you're a big fan of this style, I could definitely recommend this series. All the ones I've gotten from it are super cute and adorable, so I highly recommend it. Here's a look at all of our six adorable figures we unboxed today. I think my favorite were the two from Dreamy Stage. Although I really like our Nintendo Switch Laura and our Peachy Pop Mart one. Let me know if you're a fan of these series down below. And I have a blue color one coming. Oh, and let me show you another Laura Cyberpunk that I have. This is one of the big figures. It's about double the price of a Laura blind box. And they are blind boxes themselves. But I think there's only four options and one secret, but I got this super cute gamer one. And for this one, I love the colors. I think they are so pretty. I actually am a really big fan of cyberpunk. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. 